Hey guys, uh, Lillian here with Lily Ray's collection. I am back with um, a final session for the printable template uh, for Traveler's Notebook. So this is session number 10. Um, these printable templates can be found in my Etsy shop and that will be in the um, show more details on my YouTube channel. Um, so let's get started. I'll be using the usual Eileen's Tacky Glue, um, my uh, corner rounder, my Tim Holtz 7 inch scissor, my hole puncher, and of course Walnut Stain by Ranger Distress Oxide. And my bone folder and my pokey tool. All right. Um, I've prepped a couple of things ahead of time so that this video would not be too long um, because as I said, this is number 10. So let's see what we have. Um, this is part of um, my collection. I created a uh, paper, digital paper collection. This is one of them. I couldn't resist. I had to put it on there. That's coming out um, next, I believe tomorrow I'm going to make the introduction to the paper line. It'll be digital, so you could download that. Um, this is music notes with a uh, postcard in the back. I love how vintage it looks. So, with that said, I prepared this is what's going to go here in the front of that and this is the fold that will go here just like my um, my prototype and let's see so I prepared these are as I said part of my collection I printed these on um, postcards um, index cards. So this is one. This is the second one. I made them nice and vintagey, and this is the third one. But as I said, the collection will probably come out tomorrow. So I've done all of these and I made inserts for these here, just in the front. And these are the ephemera which are part of the collection for um, Romantique. Um, so that's going to go close to here. I put a, uh, I used a one inch hole punch there to insert a um, tag that I made. That's part of my paper collection as well. I hope you like it. And you can journal in the back. And I added a little bow. And that just goes right in here. I use the uh, Tim Holtz Distress Tool for the edges. And then I added an extra layer for that particular pocket so that when I use the uh, seam binding around it or, or the ribbon around it, it's going to go like this. This is going to be attached here. Um, yeah, I think I have to put my tape down first. And then this is going to go a little cattywonked right here like this. So, let's start by uh, taping this down. So I'm going to use my um, scrapbook.com score tape, double sided tape, sorry, and hopefully get that in the center. I'm going to put two a 
actually I may have to put um, this is going to be glued down to here and the pocket is here so it won't interfere um, let me go ahead and put some tape down I was going to use my ATG gum but it's not as sticky as this is so I think it's best that I take my time and put this on here I could use Aileen's tacky glue in the center which I will do that After this I will be making another um, standard traveler's notebook but I'm going to make it with the Tsunami Rose paper as I did the first one. The first one is my prototype so I can't uh, sell that one. Um, but I did promise someone who wanted that one that I would go ahead and um, create it with a hardcover. Now that that tape is down, let's go ahead and this is a Tim Holtz pokey tool. I'm going to use it to remove the tape. The hardest part is taking the tape out. Okay. I'm going to put this down before I forget. Because <laughs> I would forget. <laughs> Place it down. Okay. Oh, there. Be generous with that glue, with the glue. You want this to stay uh, good and stuck down. going to try and put this down. Let me stand up for this. Um, I want to kind of, uh, well, you know, I had one more piece that I wanted to put down before this one. I wanted to put this one down before I put this one down. So let me let that hang out. This has a pocket on its own as well. And this is the 
insert for it. I wasn't sure about the insert, so I'm going to kind of leave it out right now. But I wanted this to go like this, so that then I could put this one like this, going this way. So let me go ahead with this one. I'm going to just use this glue. this one on top that was the original plan then this one I wanted to go like this And this is coffee dyed paper. I just love the way that came out. All right, so let's place this back here. Still a little wet. Well, that's my stomach. I hope you can't hear my stomach. And I'm gonna put a little bling on that bow. So, then this one, I want it this way, like that, but I want to leave it as a tuck. So, let me see. I'm going to go ahead and, what am I going to use? I'm going to use the... I use the tape. So that goes like that. another strip let me put a strip down here sorry if I'm off camera I'm just adding tape to the back of this because it's gonna go like this I love the little birds so I don't think anything is gonna be added there but let me just put some extra tape. Okay. And 
did want to put a um, like right where that flower is. I know it's not in the center, but that's where I want it to go. And then I want to add some ribbon. And this ribbon, I don't know where I got it from. I have so much stuff, I don't know where I, I got the ribbon from. So I do apologize. And then I want to hang a, a key with a heart on this. It's gonna go like that. Now, let me just take the tape off. This score tape, I mean, this uh, scrapbook.com tape is really, really good and it's affordable and they usually run sales so if you are a crafter and you're looking for a good sale go to scrapbook.com Okay, now this gets tied. Just like that. Where is it? Okay, and then I also have these little things that I prepared. This comes with the collection. I put um, mounting tape on this. Uh, this says, You Are My Happiness. And then I have this paper clip um, that I did, which can hang out. Well, that's a lot of birds. <laughs> okay, let me see. I also did this one with the clock. Maybe the clock could go there. Maybe we could put the clock there. Where is it? Do I have it? Oh, it's, it's like this. Let me cover the birds there birds of a feather and then I did I put mount uh, double mounting tape on this so that I could I just pulled that off so that I could um, add these I want to add this I don't want to hide my C 
We could put the I guess this one could go inside. But I want this butterfly out here with this happiness over here. Maybe I could just put it right there. Um, this has some verbiage there. Could put it there. I don't know. You are my happiness. But it's like alone. See, these are the things that take time, and I hate spending time, you know, knowing I'm recording. Um, I put it here instead. But then it'll. Well, I'm not going to tuck anything in there. I'll just let the butterfly hang out like that. And then maybe just put you are my happiness kind of caddy wonk like that. Right? Let me do it. Because if I don't put it down, it won't happen. I really wanted it for the bird. I want it to do it like this. Like that. And then I wanted this to be a uh, an insert. But here, as you could see, I can't put an insert. Okay. So, back to plan B. We're going to leave this here. Kind of caddy wonked like that. And then here. Should I put the butterfly right here? Like that. And then I gotta put another one here because I do have another butterfly. I'm gonna add some more glue to this. I don't want this falling off. And then I'm going to spray everything. Maybe I should have put the clock there. Okay. That's it. I could get another butterfly. And where are my butterflies? I have these flat ones. I also have a bird. I can put a bird down here. Making him dimensional. My stomach sounds like the bird, <laughs> and I'm not hungry. <laughs> and then this one can just hang out right here. You know what? I gotta ink the edges. And maybe I'll put some photomonte on the center of the butterfly. Just like that. Okay, we could use this clip inside. So let me get my spray. <laughs> Here is a glimmer mist. Homemade. I just kept the bottle of the original one that I bought. And so, I'm 
I don't want to keep fussing with this, but... Maybe I'll have to cut that one. Oh, and I gotta put my little bling on the center. Just gonna. I have this this big bucket of blingy stuff. I have this this one, and I have the blue. Look at the purple. How beautiful the purple is! I wish I had it in pink like that. Um, I do have this pink, but it, this is too pink. I have the white. Don't like that. Maybe I could use this with this. This is from my Zelateel collection, which I definitely am going to do a um, a traveler's notebook, but I'm going to do a different size. Oh, is this too big for this? Let me check. <laughs> it may be too big. I don't know. I don't... Oh, this one may be too big. Rats. Rats, rats, rats. Whoops. Oh, my stomach is going crazy. I don't understand why. I, I just ate. I just fed it. Where are my pink ones? I'm going to have to go with a white one. Because I cannot find my pink ones. I know I have pink. When I'm not looking for it, I will find it. What about this champagne color? Maybe this one will do. We can use the medium size, which is this one. This is a better size. Let me go ahead and put some glue. And then grab my pliers. Hoping it doesn't. Oh man, I can't use my pliers. Let me see this. I gotta get that little thing that they say, uh, you just kind of touch it and it picks stuff up for you. The glue is gonna dry, so I'm not gonna touch it. Okay. All right, let's get this stuff out of the way. Okay. Now that we have that, I'm going to spray it. Oh, and I want—I forgot my key. I wanted to put a beautiful key on here, like from here, because this is going to be opening. So let's do the key. I have my. Let me sit 
down for this. I'm going to make my own little jump ring. Let's see if I haven't forgotten. Um, right. Close it so that goes there. I gotta cut this. Where's my cutter? I guess I could use this. That goes there. I'll use the pointy ones. Let's see what on my glasses. This one, if I just crisscross it, then I can just Straighten that out. It's so hard to see. I don't have my loops on. So I will bring this one forward and see if I can put it through there and bring it around I should have put this on before alright guys I think I'm gonna have to pause you because this is gonna take some time it will go through um, let me pause you and I will be right back. All right, guys, I am back. I went ahead and added the little key. I added some bling there and there and right in the center. And then I added, I want to add this. Um, I see that it's kind of busy, but I kind of like the way that looks. So, isn't this beautiful? I love that. I'm going to, I have to put it flat because this is where this opens and um, we can't have it fall out. So, I'm going to add it with my uh, glue here.
this is a beautiful frame this came with the kit with the um, embellishments be right here let me go ahead and untie this I want it right there I think that is a gorgeous, gorgeous frame. Okay, let's see. You can just pick up the whole page. And you can journal inside. I think it should have enough glue. Okay, so let me, I want to spritz it with this homemade mist because I want it to sparkle. I love bling. So let me go ahead and tie this. Okay, I'm going to leave it long because I don't want to cut it. Yeah, I didn't do such a good job on the bow, but I am not going to bore you with me fixing the bow. But anyway, that is my, I can't leave it. <laughs> Let me try it this way. Let's try it this way. better. At least the tails are in the right position. Okay. Here we go. There we go. There you have your cover. I'm so happy with the cover. I'm really happy with the cover. I hope you guys can see that shine. Can you see the shine? And unfortunately, the video for this, I'm still uh, trying to recover it because um, I recorded it and I don't know what happened. But this is pretty straightforward. You just add your pockets and then the tucks. You position the pockets however you like. Um, so... Now let's go inside for a final view. I hope nothing falls out here. I added a little key here. I just love the way this came out. Beautiful. This is a paper clip right here. Look at this paper clip. A hidden paper clip. I'm going to make a couple of those. It's just, it's time consuming and I can't make my books if I make the clips. <laughs> anyway, um, this is another paper clip. This is another paper clip. Let's 
Let's see how quickly I could do this flip tool. This is glued down. This is not a paper clip. Oh, it's a paper clip. <laughs> I forgot. I made it a paper clip. Oh my goodness. And this one is a paper clip. That is just too funny. And then this is the tag for here. Okay, this is absolutely a paper clip. Just hanging out on the band, on the belly band. And then you have a pocket here, which, let me see, I think these are gonna be too big. Oh, I could use one of my uh, new printables. That's another one. So we are going to insert that one there. Perfect. You have journaling pages here. I left enough journaling pages. And this paper is pretty thick. Um, this is another paper clip. I added a key here. This is a tag. In journal on that. Do I have them here? Oh, I do. It's over here. I don't know why it's out, but that one goes there for journaling. And then we have this paper, um, safety pin. It's uh, rusted. Um, these pages are all coffee dyed. You can journal in all of these pages. You have plenty of pages to journal in. And then you have pockets here, more journaling. And this is more journaling. And it is a paper clip, as you can see. Okay. And then I embellished up there with the um, stickers from the collection itself. I still have plenty of stickers left. And you have more journaling. And then this envelope comes with the printable kit. When you purchase the kit, you uh, purchase a um, a plain set and a set that I give you as a bonus with design on it. Um, and the belly band comes with the printable kit. More pages for journaling. And then this. I love this. More journaling. And I sewed around this. I love this bird cage. And that is the end of that first signature. Here's the second signature. And this is a paper clip on a um, layered belly band. And then this is a tag that you could journal on. And then here we have more journaling pages. Here is a pocket with a tag to journal in. Um, I think I'm going to have to cut this edge a little bit because it keeps giving me a tough time to go in, but it's like so, ex it's so exact that, yeah, um, more journaling, and we are on the second signature, here you have two tags that you could journal on. And I embellished on top with the ephemera that came with the kit. And then here you have coffee dyed paper. And this is a hidden paper clip, which is holding up the mason jar. And I made this mason jar with my punch board. I may do a if you want to see that done, leave a comment below 
and I will do a couple of things with my punch board, my envelope punch board. And we have here more journaling. Um, here's another tag with a double pocket. And that is the end of that signature. And you have another tag back here that you could pull all the way out. And then I added a rusted um, safety pin. So it says remember. And then here you have a little metal embellishment. And so that goes right back here. Just like that. And then you have this here. This is two pockets. I call them wave pockets. And you have a second one back here. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is, this is part of this um, book. I'm going to leave it right there. See that? How beautiful that looks. And then, of course, this is the back. And both these tags have lace, and I sewed onto that tag. I made them short. and just laid them up and that's what's holding the seam binding but as you can see here I have a um, piece of paper about that size to hold that seam so that when you tuck this it doesn't interfere with that and I also added metal corners accented metal corners and then here in the closure I added a little clip with a little um, embellishment there and a little uh, top and of course this is the Tim Holtz um, bulldog uh, clip if you wanted to increase what you have in here then you would just release that right there take this out and the, se the uh, ribbon will extend a little more and you could also bring your knot further up so Guys, I hope that you enjoyed the uh, making of this traveler's notebook. Excuse me, I have to, um, <laughs> I have to clean this. Um, I hope you enjoyed this last session, session number 11. And we are, we have completed this standard traveler's notebook and you can pick that kit up in my Etsy shop and you have 11 videos that will guide you through making it step by step all right guys uh, please like share and subscribe leave any comments below uh, my links to my Facebook and my Etsy shop are down below and um, you'll have to hit that show more button and that'll do a drop down and you have the information there all right. Thank you for joining me and take care.